and most paramount issue to consider is the safety of every participant in this process. And the court is not going to compromise on that at all. And uh, our help is a very personal and individual issue. We are the ones who know how we are feeling. Even if it's not out of COVID-19, it's quite unfortunate that in these proceedings we have already lost two persons. A council and one of the two persons. And uh, we wouldn't like to lose any of us to any circumstance whatsoever. If it be brought by COVID and if it be brought by attending this court today, then we would rather adjourn the hearings and wait for a moment when it is safe for us to be here. Therefore, I'm calling upon you before we take off on this matter. If there is any of us who feels that in any way they are compromised in the attendance of these proceedings, please point it out, be free to point it out, and we will do what is necessary for us. I know the pressure on the accused persons. This matter has been pending on your heads for so long. I know there is pressure on the prosecution and the even the defense counsels, they like to have the matter out of their way. But we would rather have the matter with us rather than have ourselves out of the way because of this case. Therefore, whether you are an accused person, a witness, a counsel, or even my court assistant, if you feel that uh, this environment is not conducive for you or due to your health status or any other condition, it is not safe for you to proceed with this case at this time or under this environment, please let us know right away and we will take the necessary steps in the matter. Yes. Uh, yes. And for what purpose? This is an open court. It can run its affairs in the way it thinks best and fair. But of importance is what you mentioned. Our health is of priority. We do not have enough space in here so that we can flex ourselves when undertaking the assignment of defending the accused persons. Just for that reason, Verona would be requesting that we reschedule this hearing to a date when we have ample space where we can interrogate the issues before you in a healthy space as we proceed with this matter so that we are healthy enough to defend it to the conclusion than rush it to a situation where we are not able to sustain our good health. That is one. Two, Mr. McCauley has not informed you. This morning he has given me a nine-page witness statement prepared by the so-called witness to come. We've not had the opportunity to look at it. It definitely touches on my client. I require more than 10 days to read it, discuss it with him, and prepare. On that note, Your Honor, it will be prudent that you give us another date. Thank you. It's the difference to say. Maybe just to look down and say we are also ready because we are cowed. You know that is wrong. It is completely unacceptable. And I must say, that I'm seeing this statement from my learned colleague. I have personally not been given, and I have three accused persons, and yet they are still ready. At all times, you and I, we must all be honest to the court and to ourselves. I think you know that was a very serious misrepresentation that ought to have been disposed of, and the prosecution ought to have told you we actually have not applied all these statements even now. So they essentially they were not ready. So even with COVID conditions, Your Honor, they are not exempted from supplying documents and supplying them in time. 
I must also add, Your Honor, that considering the state at which this matter has gone, for the prosecution to continue more or less investigating and feeding us with statements as we go on, it is very prejudicial to our clients. Because as we have been going on, we have cross-examined, we have been exposing our clients' cases as it should be during cross-examination. So as we continue to do that, the prosecution goes back behind our backs and takes statements to cover the matters that we have brought out. It may as well have been, you know, that we didn't cross-examine. It is very, very prejudicial. And we will be seeking the court's protection for our clients on that basis. You know, I would beg the court to give directions on that kind of behavior so that we do not have it tomorrow. And say for that, you know, I also agree, as Mrs. Busero has requested you, that we need maybe like two weeks so that we can, if Mr. McCauley is minded to supply those of us he has not yet supplied, then we can be able to take instructions from our clients. Of course, if he doesn't supply, we shall address you effectively on that. Thank you, Your Honor. Of the witness statement, but we have other mutants of the statement. Other mutants? Mutations of the statement. I have three. Three statements? Three different statements. From the same, same witness. The name of the witness is? Han Mombi Waigoro OGW. So, probably Mr. Macaulay should indicate to us which mutation we'll be relying on. So, probably Mr. Macaulay has all our emails. He can circulate. He can circulate the one that he'll be using for the purpose of this trial. Because we had already prepared some without a statement, some with a statement. Yuna, you recall Mr. Macaulay at some point indicated that he will not be calling this particular witness. As late as yesterday evening. Were you present last time, Mr. Waduta? Yes, I was present. I think for some for some time he has been saying he'll call that witness. Even before we took the long break, he had said he'll call the witness. I recorded that. Yeah, he has been, the list has also been rotating, the list of witnesses. Okay. But maybe we can say that the witness will be called. Yes. Yes. However, that being the case, as late as yesterday evening, I talked to Ms. Cahal, I called her and I asked her, who are the witnesses that you're bringing today? She told me three witnesses. Jerome Oche, Aden Harake, and who else? And uh, Mugwanja, someone Mugwanja. So we were not totally prepared to have this witness today, who we have several witnesses from. No, no. So, I, again, that one I can't agree because last time Mr. Makor was very clear his, why are you here, Waduta? I was there. You don't remember what Makori said that the, the governor had uh, some other engagements. He used governor at that time. So she was not able to come, but she will be coming today. You know, yesterday we had a discussion with Ms. Kahawa. That, that you can't. Also part of the prosecution. Yeah, but that you can't represent to me because. Very well. Very well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. able to proceed only that now I'm confused on who this person will be. Yes. About the space, you know, this is not sufficient for us to conduct a trial. Yes. About the uh, media coverage and its responsibility, this matter has been covered before. At the initial stages, even when the defense complaint coverage continues.
continued. We complained before the court that was having this matter before that there was misrepresentation, misreporting, and the media was advised to report the correct facts. Yes. And since then, we have not had any complaint about misreporting. So what Mr. McCoy is alluding to is very speculative. The media has its own code of conduct. Probably the best order you would make is that report the matter in accordance with your regulations. I was going to proceed, but given the circumstances of where we sit today, I would agree that we should be afforded another facility to go on the trial. That's all. Sorry, I didn't get you. You know, if I, if I start to be corrected, but I had Mr. McCoy say that statement was supplied to him. The statement he has supplied to everybody else. No, it was senior, senior yes. counsel who said that. So, as it stands, Your Honor, yes. I start to be corrected, however, on that issue. However, on the issue of three statements, and not all the parties being served, Your Honor, that is prosecutorial misconduct, uh, misconduct and misrepresentation. On one very simple point, Your Honor, we have we have an ambit to defend our clients to the best of our ability. The fact that there are three different statements and another is being supplied today, we don't have any grounds or any means of cross-referencing them before. And he may say they were in force with the material. How are we expected to defend our clients? Our clients have been in this court seeking justice on the year 2015. And as it stands, Mr. McCorry had not supplied all their statement to all the councils. Yet, he will stand and say, pre-trial in a criminal matter is an ongoing process. You know, one way or the other, the pre-trial and the production of documents to be relied on in a hearing has to come to an end. If it never comes to an end, you know, we will always be here on the same ground, on the same thing, stating that we are here to defend our clients. However, there is a new statement that has come to light. Yes. However, Your Honor, Mr. McCoy should be, able to, should be able to confirm to us which statement he wants to proceed with and whether he received the court on the issue of pre-trial coming to a conclusion. In aspect, he even served us with a, with a very long document stating all the documents he was going to rely on. Yet here he is producing another document. On the issue of media coverage, Your Honor, this is the first time that we have had the media coverage. If someone feels that what has been said was misrepresented, they know that there is a civil, there is a civil method of, of resolving these issues. On the issue of the media, Your Honor, I believe this is a matter of public interest and public policy, and the media should be allowed to cover this matter. Unless there's an ineptitude that the protection believes is about to be brought to light, that the media should not be allowed to cover. That is all, Your Honor. statement emerges of seven pages. Where it came from, when it was recorded, when it was taken, we don't know. And Your Honor, I would urge that this court makes clear directions because we have to protect the integrity of the, of, of, the, of the proceedings. It will occasion severe prejudice to the defense if we keep on getting new statements and new documents each and every time a new witness comes. Because a trial process 
and tears are what? The other witnesses who have testified, we had to refer to this, those statements. We don't know if we will need to recall another witness who already justified because a new information has come in a new statement that was applied to us before. So now as you make your final decision today, kindly give an order that the prosecution should cease and desist from introducing new information in the middle of the trial. Lastly, about the issue of the media coverage, as my senior Lucero already said, it is an open court. It's open to the members of the public, and you also understand the freedom of the media. What I didn't understand clearly is whether my senior Mr. Macquarie was trying to protect the integrity of the proceedings or of the witness that he intends to call to me. He didn't come clear on that because previously he has never made an application for a long time. Was it an application for the witness he intended to call today or for the integrity of the proceedings until its conclusion? So I didn't hear that, and the reason he gave was not plausible enough, and I will not want myself to associate myself with uh, uh, an idea of trying to guard the media on the coverage and reporting. The court can give that guidance on what the media report and what they do not report. But the coverage is an open court. Thank you. And I repeat indeed indicates that I'll be calling the witness today. We had to even reschedule the dates so that we can accommodate. Yes. Yes, Your Honor, this matter has taken too long. We are all aware. The matter started in 2015. There are several prosecutors and counsels who have come in in between. Uh, there is no new statement which has been supplied. There is nothing new. Your Honor, in fact, I was not supplying. That's a point of clarification. I was not supplying. The senior counsel requested to look at the statement that the witness is going to rely upon. And I applied. It is when that she discovered that uh, she, I don't know whether uh, she has it or not, but it's when that she discovered that perhaps she would have uh, forgotten it. Uh, your Honor, your Honor, the, the fact that uh, yes, a minute, yes, 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 your Honor, the fact that uh, Council Waduta has uh, indicated to the court that he did has that statement is an indication that the prosecution supplied this statement. I, I, I didn't hear him say that, Counselor. The statement that we are referring to, he has the bundle. So in, instead of, uh, instead of uh, just going, you know, it's yes. a very simple, straightforward yes. matter. Uh, the statement that you, you, you gave, yes. the one that you gave today, uh, what I picked out from what councils are submitting is that you had previously given a two-page statement Another counsel said you gave three pieces, what Mr. Aduta was calling mutants of the same. I don't know. So do you have three pieces of statements? One, two, three, no problem. You will have given. Or you have one piece or you have four pieces that you've given. We have two, two statements which were... Um... Yes. You gave me this last letter. I cannot tell. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Senior, the, the, the first one you're referring to has how many pages? Two pages. One page front and back, and that's it. And that one, you know, we confirm we also we have. have. You, you, and Waduta, you have the statement that is signed on 10th of November 2015, rock by G. Rukaria at page 7. You do. Okay. Those are the only two statements. Because I see that one is there, and also there is another one. Um, this one does not seem. Or oh, seventh of October, 2015. That will make. Uh, that will make nine page. One matter, all of us. How? That two of the accused persons have said their counsel has passed on. I have not heard any of us address that issue. Yes, uh, Mr. Igara. Yes. Yes. How how would we bypass that issue? Two two of the accused persons have said that uh, their counsel has passed on. And uh, there are two accused two accused persons. Yeah. So what I've said here is uh, it's indeed true that this case has been in court for long and needs to to be finalized. It was scheduled to proceed today and uh, by the attendance of all the parties and all the councils, indeed, I think everyone was ready and prepared to proceed. The parties are here, the witnesses are here, and uh, councils are here, and the court is ready to proceed. So on the issue of the new statement, uh, in the course of the reply by Mr. Makori, Mr. Waduta confirmed that he has that statement. He had it prior. And uh, I don't think it's an issue that I, I, I will say that there was no statement. I have looked at the nine-page statement that uh, senior counsel said he had been given, and Mr. Waduta confirming that he has both the seven page and the two page, I would find that the defense was already supplied with those statements and so there is no new statement there. On that ground, I will find that there is no new statement supplied and that the defense was supplied with the statements prior and uh, that ground will therefore not occasion an adjournment. On the issue of the media coverage, I find no good reason to keep the media out of the proceedings. I'll ask, however, ask them, and, and please comply. You are very poor at complying. Even after asking you to comply, you are still cr You know, Nina Mwonekadangi kwa videos, so ata nikisema amski. You are crowded where you are. Can you find space? And this is now an order of the court, okay? I will, however, ask them to find sufficient space where available and stop crowding so that they are also observing the COVID-19 protocol. So you will find spaces wherever and, and stay there, but not crowd where you are. I'm an EMBOU of Sawangwa Washike for breaching the COVID protocol. Now, uh, the, disturbing issue, uh, the disturbing issue of space, uh, we have tried to space all the parties in court to the best of our ability. And the only other thing we can do is to ask probably members of the public to stay on the periphery. We shall be asking all those who are not participants to listen. We have a PA system here. You can listen and hear what we are saying, but from a, a distance, a safe distance, so that we have proper air circulation. We'll also try to open these flaps. They are openable. We can have them open so that uh, there is proper air circulation inside here. However, there is the issue of uh, two accused persons currently not being represented due to the passing on of their advocate Mr. Wagara and that is not an issue that can be bypassed and so the matter cannot proceed as it will not only be insensitive. We are told that Mr. Wagara still lies on, uh, uh, in, 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 the, in the mortuary and uh, has not been buried. That means it will be unreasonable for me to say that the accused persons had sufficient time for them uh, to, to get another advocate. It will also be in violation of the two accused persons' right to be represented by counsel of their choice. Therefore, I would like to call upon the two accused persons, that is the fourth and the ninth, 
the fourth and the, the fourth accused person is uh, Benson Gedi Mshemi. Uh, you have a right to be represented by counsel of your choice, and uh, we have learned that uh, your advocate has passed on. It's upon you to make an informed decision of yourself, considering this matter, the long it has taken, how far, where it is going, and the fact that also this case could land you in prison for long if the prosecution actually proves its case, or you may be set free make a decision on whether you are ready to proceed with the case or not. So the passing on of Mr. Ogara and uh, may the Lord rest his soul in eternal peace and our sincere condolences to, to the family and all the practitioners who work with him. And for lack of representation of the third and the ninth accused person, the hearing of the case cannot proceed today. How much time do you need to get an advocate? Benson. Yes? Two weeks. Samuel? I change it. Yes? Two weeks. Okay. Now, the earliest dates for this case, as we all appreciate, it needs uh, very clear dates, and the dates have been taken. You appreciate that we are only fixing so few cases per day. We have, uh, the earliest is the 5th of August. So we can have the fifth, sixth is a Friday, we will determine whether we can proceed when on, on a fifth, but we can have the fifth, the sixth of August, then we go to 20, Danny. Then we, we can uh, again take 20, 20, not 20, 30th, 31st, August, and then the whole of that week. 30th, 31st, then 1st of September, and 2nd of, of September. Come again. Yes.